Hey, fuck off, late. I am a fucker. I'm hiding in my. Uh. All right, I'm hiding in my bathroom. Oh, fuck that. I'm hiding in my bathroom and uh, because I don't want Mason to see me. Because if he sees me, he well, he cries anyway. But if he sees me or hears me, he will probably cry faster. So that's why I'm hiding in my bathroom and trying to make this video because I haven't made a video in a while. Um, because. Well, I, I don't know why, really. I guess I don't like to remind myself I have social anxiety. And when I make these videos, I think about it a lot more. And it reminds me that my life sucks right now. <laughs> Honestly. Um, anyways, about... Well, there's not much. <clears throat> okay, so I changed my medication to effects or and... I had the worst side effects from Cipolex that I have ever freaking had in my life. When I, I didn't realize it was, I thought there was something wrong with me. I thought, because I had, I was going through withdrawals from the Cipolex while I had like a really bad cold, like while I was really sick. And I thought that my sickness was just making me have like brain zaps, like, like somebody felt like in my head, like somebody was shocking me in my head. That's what it felt like a, a lot whenever I moved, like, and I was extremely emotional. I would cry all the time. I would get very, very pissed off. Um, they should not, they shouldn't, they should have told me the side effects because I have a child. I don't need to be like that um, while I'm trying to take care of my kid. And like, it was just bad. Like I was not, I was shaking kind of like um shaking like twitching sorry i don't know twitching and yeah like the worst thing was the brain zaps and the emotional the depression shit like after like a good week of being um like maybe even like three or four days to a week of not being on the Cyprolex, that was the worst time like and it lasted for so freaking long I literally couldn't figure out, like, I did not know what it was, so I didn't go back on the Cyprolex, so I stayed off of it, and I had no idea that was the symptoms, I thought I was just going through a really bad sickness, it could have been the weather, I didn't know what was wrong with me, but it was like two weeks before I got onto the Effexor, and I realized it was the uh, withdrawals from the Cyprolex, because I went online, and I was like, okay, what the fuck, what's going on? So I just looked it up, whatever, and then uh, exactly my symptoms, brain zaps, like sh head, body zaps, like I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah, so I'm probably rambling about that, but yeah, I'm on a different medication, it's still not working nearly as much as I want it, I'm taking two pills a day, 37 milligrams or something, I don't fucking know, um, obviously I have to go up because I still get face twitches, I still get nervous, shaky, scared, um, I, like, it, I don't know, it's just bad. Uh, for freak's sakes, man. Okay, so, yeah, it's just bad. Um, and I finally called my counselor, I guess you could say, and my son is starting to cry. Ugh. It's really hard to take care of him right now. Like, I mean, like, I don't want to, like, have people think I'm a bad mom, but being a single mom with social anxiety is probably the hardest thing that I've ever done because you have to try and take care of yourself, solve your own problems so you, that you can actually like, get a job and go to school and survive. But on top of that, you need to take care of somebody else 24-7. Um, um, so it's hard to work on your own problems first, rather, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of trying... Oh, shit. Um, I'm just trying to work on two things, I guess, <laughs> being a mom and trying to get rid of this stupid anxiety. Um, I actually went out with somebody today, we went tanning, and I've known her for a long time, but it was really awkward. My mouth was like shaking like that whenever I talked to her, and she would look at me and then I'd be like so paranoid that she was looking at my facial expressions and if I was making the right ones and blah blah blah. Um, it was not fun, it was scary, um, but yeah, I don't know. 
I went out drinking a few times with, I think this girl has the same, like kind of the same thing I do, social anxiety, I've known her for years and years too, and I went out with her and a few other people that I had no idea who they were, but I just drank, because when I, when I drink, um, obviously I don't have social anxiety, <laughs> it's like the opposite, um, and it's also a good break for myself to try and, you know, breathe and still be young and everything else. But I feel like I've been rambling forever and I just wanted to like say I'm not like, you know, dead or nothing. Um, I'm still making uploads and oh yeah, and I've read all your guys' comments. I don't think, I'm just wondering, should I, no, I'm not even going to say it because I like getting comments, but um, oh, I just got that jolt. Feels like I get brains up still, like I don't know, it's weird. Um, but yeah, I read all your, uh, your messages. Does my eye look like it's cross-eyed? But yeah, ooh. sorry, okay, okay, okay. I also have this big fear of like people thinking I'm slow or retarded because I can't think properly anymore and like I get all twitchy and shit. But I'm going to go now. Peace the heck out. Also, if you guys want, you can follow me on Instagram. If anyone, <laughs> if any of you guys know what that is, it's my Instagram is Kaylee May, K A Y L I M A A E. And that is my Instagram. And you know, I can follow you back if you guys want. You know, I'll get back. <laughs>